Well, all of a sudden the economy goes south and it's sour and you say, forget it, I'm not going to do it now. Yeah, Bad it's a recession. Time. Well, yeah. you know what? This may actually be a really good time to get it going. And some very successful companies have already proven that. Small business expert Susan wilson Solovich is here to talk about it. And we're talking about Fortune 500 companies who started during bad economic times. That's right. You'd be amazed at the number of Fortune 500 companies that started in a down economy. Give us an example so, of one. Microsoft is one. Oh, you wow. know, by the way, Microsoft only made a little over $16,000 its first year in business, so oh, it started wow. out as a small business. But actually, the recession creates opportunities for new market niches. So the job market is dismal. People are looking for a way to, sup to supplement their income or create an income stream. So this creates a re really unique opportunity to start a business. Okay, so someone's thinking about it. They think they have a great idea for a business. What is the most asked question from people saying, I want to do this? One of the most asked questions, Randy, is whether or not they have the right stuff to go into business for themselves. And then also, what kind of business should I start? Right. Those are the two common things. And you know, starting a business and growing a business really isn't for everyone. So you really have to analyze your personality and make sure that you have the characteristics that it takes to be successful. Yeah, like, like the idea of a toast on a stick, not a great idea. But, <laughs> but what, what, what you're really talking about is, is the person and, and yes. what they need. That's right, exactly. And I took your little test here, the yes. right stuff. I passed every single one. I got a Did yes on Did you really? It. Yeah, 15 questions. Okay, we'll so that does that mean website. you're going into your own business now? Well, if I had an idea, I mean, toast on a stick. It's just, right. No, you know. I don't think John so. But whoever Bertsborn. thought that Pet Rock would be successful, right? Who knew? Right? Exactly. Who knew? So, so, yeah, you've got this questionnaire, and I know yes, you're going to be chatting on our website. I am, and this questionnaire is going to be posted on your website as well. And it really looks at those characteristics. So some of the things that you want to think about is, are you a self-confident person? Because when you start your business, you have to not only believe in yourself and your business idea, because you're going to get a lot of no's, and it's a tough road. So if you don't have that self-confidence, confidence and that resilience, your chances of being successful are narrowed. Are you good with people? Do you yes. have a lot of self... And you wrote yes on all this, John? <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Randy? Are you saying he's not telling the truth? I'm yes. teasing. I mean, you know, Randy, your point here is people skills. I mean, think about it. There are a lot of people out there who are very good technicians. They're good <laughs> at what they do, but they're not so good at dealing with people. And when you're in your own business, you are selling yourself, sure. you're selling your business. And if you don't like people, that's going to be a problem. And there is one you don't have on here, and I, and I always tell young people, find something you love. And if you love doing it, you won't worry. Don't do it for money. That's true. Well, I wouldn't say that. Actually, would? I would disagree with you there, John, because if you're not going into business to make money, then you might as well go volunteer somewhere. Because really, you're going to work longer and harder than you have ever worked in your entire life you're when wrong. you start your own business. There's a lot of risk involved with starting your own business. You're putting your financial resources, your personal resources at stake. And as I said, you're going to work longer and harder than you've ever worked before. So passion is an important ingredient. You need to love it because you're going to be working so hard. But here's my mantra, John. All right. Passion doesn't make payroll. Well, thank you for negating my <laughs> lifelong <laughs> philosophy. Another reminder, Susan's going to head to our website right now. <laughs> yes. She's going to be chatting live with you on our website for about the next half an hour or so. If you have any questions about starting your own small business, Toast on a Stick is taken, by the way. You can visit our website at fox2now.com, and Susan will be there. You can take that quiz as well. Find out if you have the right stuff to be your own boss. Thanks, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Thanks. It's my pleasure. <laughs> All right, it's 820.